Teardown time. Uh, this is probably going to be a whole series of videos. I went off to eBay and grabbed a whole bunch of uh, really interesting sensors for uh, just almost nothing. Uh, this particular one here, let me pop up the eBay listing. Uh, it's uh, $3.40. It's called the uh, Alsong AM2302. Uh, more commonly, it seems to be known as the DHT22 and at least the uh, software programs that have been written for it. Uh, you can tell, of course, it's uh, on a Arduino. Uh, there's pretty good support for it. Let, let me just uh, breathe on the sensor. And uh, what you can see is it instantly recognizes my uh, breath has a higher humidity, of course, than the outstanding uh, uh, air in my uh, workshop. And, of course, it's warmer, so it recognizes that. Uh, very simple to use. Uh, that's really not the purpose of this video. Uh, to be honest, actually, I'm very interested to see what's inside here. Uh, it has a one-wire serial protocol. It's all digital on the interface, so there must be at least a microprocessor or a sequencer of some sort inside this little package. Obviously, uh, I've taken the top off, and there's two sensors. No surprise, one's for temperature. Uh, this one here almost certainly is a thermistor. And this one here is the humidity sensor. It's kind of an interesting uh, device. Uh, if you Google humidity sensor on the internet, you'll see that there's uh, two types. Uh, one is a capacitive type sensor, the other one is a uh, resistive. This one, uh, I believe, is capacitive. Let me just insert the micro photograph of it. And uh, what you can see, there's a, a back here that's white. It's either ceramic or alumina. And then they put a, a, a sputter of coating on, basically, to create one plate of the capacitor. Then some sort of hydroscopic film uh, to cover it. And then it looks like the plate on the other side doesn't cover the entire thing like a normal capacitor, just a portion. And, of course, as the film absorbs moisture, it changes the capacitance ever so slightly. Okay, now the analysis gets a little more tricky. Uh, basically, below these two sensors is a circuit board, uh, or a substrate, and uh, the rest of the active circuitry is on the other side. And, if, of course, you flip it over, uh, it's just white. And that's because it's been uh, potted. Uh, so they have a little circuit board, they solder on the two sensors on one side, uh, and then pot the other side. So uh, this potting, unfortunately, is not a reworkable type potting. It's, uh, it's obviously pretty hard. And uh, realistically, uh, probably acid de encapsulation is going to be my best bet to extract the components uh, on the other side and see what they look like. Okay, so just sitting on this filter paper is all the bits and pieces. Uh, let me just look at these three items first. They look like cloth, and uh, that's exactly what they are. They're actually fiberglass uh, matting, and it's the main building block of uh, a circuit board uh, that and epoxy, which of course has been stripped away by the acid. Since there's three of them, uh, it was uh, probably a three-layer circuit board, uh, pardon me, uh, a six-layer circuit board. Um, and over here, a whole bunch of little black dots. Uh, there are the components. They're like 001, 005, the tiny surface mount components. Uh, these ones here are almost certainly are capacitors. These little tiny ones here are resistors. Uh, on the more exciting bit, and I definitely going to have to get my microscope out, uh, this looks like it's some sort of laser trim component here. I'll put that under in a moment. And there's a semiconductor here. Uh, very hard to see. It almost looks like a resistor, but it shines here, which is a giveaway that it's a bit of silicon. Uh, again, I suspect that's uh, potentially a microcontroller, uh, and uh, I definitely need a microscope now to see what's going on. Okay, uh, these are the microscope photos. Uh, the first one up uh, is the integrated circuit. Uh, always love looking at these uh, through microscopes. They uh, look so fancy. Uh, this almost certainly is going to be a microprocessor of some sort. Uh, the dark black areas are essentially uh, storage. They will be either PROM uh, or random memory. Uh, there's some steering logic there as well. There's some pretty heavy metallization in the middle there, and it's probably obscuring some of the more uh, interesting details as well. Um, pretty sophisticated to start uh, delayering an IC, but uh, taking the uh, plastic off is uh, dead simple. The thing that I thought was uh, some sort of laser trim component, uh, with three terminals on it, I still actually don't know what it is, it's got a ceramic back. Uh, but speaking about trimming, uh, here's a photograph of a, uh, a simple resistor, and you can see a couple etch lines in it, and I think those were actually been uh, done by the manufacturer as they trim the uh, pad uh, to have the exact uh, resistance. Now the acid has etched away the edges which uh, would have had the conductive components and of course it's uh, etched away the entire covering leaving basically this sort of ceramic body and then the uh, black stuff um, is of course the resistance pad printed I should presume in some fashion. So uh, all sorts of little secrets that you can find even with the cheapest of components. 
Well, there we go. Uh, only a few dollar sensor and look at all the neat, interesting things one can uh, extract from it. Uh, tons of technology, uh, even in the simplest things these days. Um, this is a bit of a new feature to this channel, so uh, if you do like this, uh, give me a thumbs up uh, to encourage me to do more. <laughs> if uh, if it's uh, off topic for you, uh, no thumbs down, please. But uh, just curious if there's interest in these uh, teardowns in future uh, videos.